Hi everybody and welcome once again to my Magic World 2 Let's Play back for another episode and I want to show you something very cool. I was looking at the compendium from Ars Magica and everything is all glowy and crazy. I guess that's a good sign, right? I don't, I'm not really sure why. I don't know if it means that I can discover that or I should read. It's telling me, read this, read this, or the little moons next to everything. I'm not really sure because that stuff wasn't there before, so I'm pretty happy about that Um, just because it looks cool. But um, someone mentioned an item, um, and I want to see if I could find it here. Let's see. Components, shapes, blocks, items. I guess it would be under items. No, it's not there. Um, armor, mana cake, mana potion, spell book. Oh, that sounds cool. Mana cake. It sounds yummy. Oh, so we can make mana cake. Both restore hunger and give a boost to mana. Now, these things, some of these, you just craft these? I mean, there's no... You know, it's not like in Thomcraft you have to discover anything. It's just crafting it. So we need a desert nova, a blue orchid, sugar, and wheat. You know what? That was totally random. I didn't even plan on I was planning on doing something else, but since I saw that, let's do it. Um, so, let's see. Let's see. We need... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Since I'm such a mess, we have one wheat. Oh, I had tons of wheat here. How embarrassing is that? Okay. So, we need one wheat. We have it there. We need sugar cane. Let's get some sugar. And I know I have a desert nova. Just one, I think I have. But there is a desert not too far off, I think, that we found. So, I'll have to go back there. One Desert Nova. One Vintium Dust, I believe. And what was the last item? What was the last item? Gosh. Okay, we Sugar, sugar, right. Oh, gosh, I always forget. Oh, no. Wait a second. Wait a second. It wasn't Vintium. It was uh, that Blue Orchid. Sorry. That was my fault. So we don't need Vintium. We need the... And I know I have Blue... Whoa. I know I have Blue Orchids somewhere. Um, okay, here's Sugar Cane. So that helps. Look what I did. I mixed everything crazy. Okay, and what was it? What was it? What was it? These two? These two and... Yeah, Blue Orchid. Blue Orchid. I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember having that. Maybe I don't. I'm pretty sure I had a Blue Orchid. The question is, where is it? Could take me an hour to find it. You guys will be like, oh my gosh, how long do I have to watch this for because she can't find the Blue Orchid? I could... I, you know what? Maybe I don't have one. Ah, there it is! One Blue Orchid! Yay! I can't believe I found it, actually. So let's get some sugar. All right, so let's look at that again. Blue Orchid, Desert Nova, Sugar, and Wheat. Okay. I'm going to forget it. Blue Orchid, Nova, Sugar, and Wheat. Oh, Mana Cake. All right. So we eat that up. I guess we get mana, right? That, I mean, it sounds good. Um, look, my mana is not all the way up right now. Because it's, it's getting up. But anyway, let's, um, before I eat one of those mana cakes, because I will, um, someone mentioned this item, the Califactor. I wanted to see it in the compendium, but I'm not sure where I would find that. I would think it would be under items or, I mean, it's not a structure, right? It's not a structure. It's, um, let's see, uh, it would be under, um, Items, I would think, but I don't see it here unless it's under one of these is like ores. Okay, it's definitely not under ores. Keystone. Um, oh, what is that? Wow, there's lots of stuff to read here. Lots of stuff. Uh, blocks? Um, no. Shapes, components. I'm probably, it's probably here because I know this explains everything. I just, I don't see it. Um, mobs and bosses. Water Guardian. Wow. Cool. Recommended level 10. Huh. Let's see what this talks about. Water Guardian can be summoned by creating a redstone inlay circle in any biome. Then while raining, throw a boat and a bucket of water into the circle as homage to the, oh, Wow. Interesting. Not easy to summon him, but sounds really fun and awesome, and I can't wait. All right, so um, I wanted to make this item, but I can't find it, but we could still make it. It looks like we have everything. We need lapis. So what um, burning steps in the comments mentioned that um, we could double ores and stuff with this, maybe even triple them sometimes. So let's go ahead and craft this. Even though I don't find it in the compendium, I would have liked to read about it there. Um, I'm sure it's there. I'm just not finding it. Let's go ahead and craft it since I do have the recipe. So lapis, redstone, stone, and vintium dust. So let's get started here.
looking for stuff because you know that takes me forever. Uh, gosh. The most basic. Here we go. Vintium dust. Lapis, right? Was it two lapis, I think? Okay, and I need stone. So if I don't have any, I have to cook up. What was it? Four? Well, we'll put everything. We'll put some of them in there. Put like, let's put like six in there. Six to cook up. So I'll put this back. We'll put some iron back. Okay, and let's see again. So it was, what do we have here? Um, lapis. Okay, we need redstone. Uh, redstone, redstone, tons of redstone, not a problem. So just waiting on this to cook up. So I don't know what this is. If this is like a furnace idea kind of thing. It's for smelting ores. He mentions doubling. So he's mentioning that with the mimicry mod that is so great at, you know, mining that you saw in one of the, not the last episode, the episode before that, um, it was like amazing. So between that, using that and using this Califactor, like that's it. We're going to love, like we never have to really worry about ores or, you know, resources again is what I'm understanding. So let's go ahead and see how this works out. Um, so if I shift... Right, shift, question mark, there we go, everything goes right in there. So a lot of people mention that I like to place the things one by one, but I know it's slow. So I'm going to do what you guys say, shift and just click the question mark. Okay, the Califactor, new entry unlocked. So maybe now it'll talk about it, is that how that works? Anyway, let's place this down. I have no idea how this works, so let's place it like right here. Ooh, it has a neat little interface. Oh, gosh, I'm going to have to look it up in the book because I have no idea what to do here. None. The only thing I know is let's put some more in. I mean, obviously, don't know if it uses coal. Probably not. But anyway, let's just see how it goes. Let's, um, probably doesn't use coal. It uses some kind of coal. Maybe it uses arcane stone. I don't know. You know, oh, no, that's from arcane scrolls. That has nothing to do. Sorry. So, um, let's grab some ores. Let's say, for instance, let's grab this gold. But like I said, I don't know. I'll have to read it in the book because I'm not really sure. Oh, no, it doesn't go here. Oh, that's where it goes. Okay, that part I got, right? And it, oh, I love the graphic. Question is, I'm not really sure how this, <laughs> how does this work? We're going to have to look this up in the, comp I wonder if now, like it said, when it said new entry unlocked, I wonder if now it shows up. Um, so really, if you don't have any eye, you wouldn't know, you know, to use that, to, to craft that. Um. Let's see, would it be under block? Oh, there it is, there it is. It wasn't there before, I promise you guys. Okay, neutral, standard functionality, slower cooking, but chance to double ores. Extremely fast cook speeds, but a 5% chance to destroy item. Oh, so, but a magical furnace. The Califactor can produce Vintium dust as it cooks in addition to the smelted item. It behaves differently based on what kind of power it is receiving. Huh. Um, I have no idea how to power it up. <laughs> Obviously, I have no idea. I mean, should I try coal somewhere? It's not going to work. Coal is not going to work here. This is magic. What am I, crazy? I mean, am I kidding you guys, right? What else is used? Could it be um the essence water? Maybe in a bucket? Is that at all possible? I'm just kind of throwing that out there. I'm not going to do this randomly, though. I'm not going to. I'll wait for you guys to tell me what to do because the compendium didn't say very much right there. It didn't say how to use it. Um, neutral. And then it says dark, but it doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you. Like, I have no idea. So that's not really helping me right there. So, um, you know, I'm going to wait for you guys to help me out. Um, there must be a way that... What about Vintium tor Oh my gosh, Vintium torches are crafted in a simplistic way and glow with roughly the same brightness as standard torch. Wow. That's a stick? That graph does not look like that graphic does not look like a stick, but you know what? That is neat. That's a neat little thing. Let's see how that goes. Um might as well test that out while we're here. But anyway, today what I really want to do, I wasn't gonna do this, but you know, I'm just kind of playing around with different things here. Today, I definitely want to try, let's try a couple of these. I don't want to use too many. Let's try our new torches. Cool. They look nice. Yeah, we're going to make another spell today because what happened was people suggested I make a basic. Nice. You know what? It definitely looks better than the normal tor torch. Um, but yeah, same amount of light, but I like the way it looks actually. 
Cool. Alrighty. Very, very nice. Let's put a couple over here. Nice. Okay, yeah. So just wanted to see how that... So that's great. So um, I was going to make another spell today. So today we're going to make um, a projectile spell, but a more basic one maybe. Well, I haven't decided just yet, actually. Um, we did make the um, spell that is the Poof Mob spell. Mana cost is pretty high um, at nor like at um, the lower reduced rate. I want to say this is the reduced rate at 67. So what I wanted to do is do a normal projectile, like just projectile attack. So um, I wanted to see what the mana cost was going to be for that. So um, let's go ahead. Now someone mentioned also, if I just click here, oh, sorry, no, shift click with just an open hand, I can grab the book. And I did not know that I broke it the last time. So I am sorry about that. So I learned the hard way. So, okay. So, so, but someone did mention, so thank you for letting me know that. So we will place that here. So now we're just collecting books, collecting lots of books. All right. So what we're going to do is create another spell. So let's go over to the Oculus um, and make sure, let's see what I have. So what I'm going to do is just to see the mana cost of like a normal spell, like a normal attack, nothing fancy, which is probably what I should have done the first time. But what happened was I asked your advice, but I actually recorded the video, unfortunately, just cause I couldn't do it. You know, I couldn't wait because I was going to be away the next day busy. So I couldn't, you know, I had to record that video a little bit before. Basically I recorded two videos, kind of one kind of a little bit after the other so I didn't see your responses to, to me saying what spells next you know so really it's true that I just wanted to try that magic attack spell but it takes a lot of mana so let's just make a normal kind of attack spell so we've got the physical damage right so physical damage now there are um, frost damage someone mentioned I could do frost lightning fire but what I could just do is projectile with physical damage right that won't cost me anything because I've already learned it so it's just a matter of me getting a book, right? Let's see, a book and quill. Now that's another thing. Um, I really need to make a lot of feathers. Do we even have feathers left? I think we do have a couple feathers. We have one feather. Wow, so I really got to get there and uh, get out there and find some chickens. And we got only one in ink sack. So that's something in Ars Magic that looks like we need a huge supply of. So I better start worrying about it is what I'm trying to say. So definitely for the next episode... I'm going to need um, to collect. Now, I know there's a lot of animals down, like right in this rainbow forest, but I probably should get some seeds, feed those chickens, make me make a chicken farm. Really, what I need is a full chicken farm because I'm going to need to uh, start worrying about feathers. And ink sack, I think, um, hopefully I could find a lot of squid. So I think they spawn kind of randomly. So even if the water looks empty, I think, of course course the egg did not give me a chicken <laughs> oh there's a bunch of eggs here let's see just for fun i love to have a couple of chickens at home yay don't fall off the edge though buddy oh my gosh they're gonna fall off the edge and die i probably shouldn't do this guys don't fall off look how they always go to the machines isn't that weird it's so funny hey buddy don't fall off the edge don't i know you guys are saying just do something to block it i know i probably should do that right now because it's scary they're gonna totally fall off the edge and die so uh temporarily let me go ahead and grab um these willow wood pl planks for now even though it looks ugly but i really don't want anything to happen to these guys <laughs> let's see if i could just close it this is really ugly i know you're all yelling at me you made such a beautiful home and now you're making it ugly you know they're gonna fall off the edge and die because just because i have these chickens here unless they stay by the machines like they always do where are they? Are they there? There's just one. I only see one chicken. Oh, there he is. Okay. He's hanging out. Okay. Hopefully. Let me block this up. Okay. I think we're good. I think we've protected them, except around this altar. They could still die. All right. Do you think they'll stay? All right. I know it's really ugly. I'll fix it later. It looks horrible. I know. Actually, I'm going to make a room up there, so it looks pretty bad. Let's, let's throw a few more eggs just because I love it. Uh, nothing. All right, so what I was going to do is make another spell. So we have all the stuff we need, right? So let's go to our crafting. So what was it? Um, something like this. I always forget how this goes. How do I do this? Yeah, book and quill. Awesome. So let's go back to our table. Um, crafting altar. No, actually, no, no inscription. Sorry, I got my... I, I got a little confused. I'm sorry. So we're going to make a basic attack spell just because I want to see the difference in mana because I had a bad time with the... And, and I want to see the attack amount. You know, it was giving me a 3, 2 attack. 
So let's see what this gives me. So we're going to choose projectile. Oh, sorry, dragging. And we're going to go with physical damage, right? And that's it for now. We're not going to go anything else. So we're going to name this as basic. Um, no, let's call, um, let's, let's say, um, let's put cheap attack. Because <laughs> it's my cheap attack spell. There we go. There we go. Cheap attack. There we go. We've learned it. Yay. Now we got to put it up here on the lectern. Let's do that. And what do we need for this? We need blank rune. Vintium dust. Arrow. Oh, gosh. Okay. So let's get two rune. This looks so ugly. I am. You're all yelling at me. I know. Sorry. I need to get more sand, really, so I can make it of glass, at least. Um, so we need a red rune, I think it said. But I think I have red already. I'm pretty sure I have red, but let's just grab this. And we need the runes. Where did I put the runes? Here they go. So we have a blank rune. And we need a red rune. Oh, there it is. See? So I have one red color here. So we need a red rune. Just like that. Right? I think it was red. Hope so. Vintium dust. Vintium dust. One of those. We need, of course, a snowball, which <laughs> now I have a lifetime supply, I hope. And what else did we need? Um, blank rune, red rune, vintium dust. Okay, blank rune, vintium dust, arrow, snowball, red rune, iron sword, iron sword and arrow. So iron sword and arrow. Little chickens, don't go. Iron sword and arrow. Uh, iron sword and arrow. We have to make an iron sword. Iron sword and arrow. There we go. Iron sword. And now we need an arrow. That's another thing. Arrows. I don't want to run out of those either. Um, that's mainly projectile, I'm guessing. Okay, and now what did we need? Spell parchment. So we've got this piece of piece of uh, paper. All right, now I'm getting... I'm the expert at this now, guys. Come on. <laughs> All right, I'm not the expert, but I'm having fun anyway. Who cares? Where are my chickens? Where are my chickens? Don't go, chickens. Don't leave. Okay, here we go. So first one we need is the blank rune. Always it's the blank rune. It's always the blank rune. I just keep forgetting. Here we go. Throw that in and the magic starts happening. There we go. It's beautiful. Vintium dust. What's next? Arrow. I love this. This is the coolest ever. Snowball. <laughs> My snowball predicament. Red rune. I love it. And sword. And last but not least, spell parchment. Yay! Beautiful music has been made. Okay, so now we want to give it a picture. Now this is going to be the basic spell. So let's see. Let's see. Let's do this itty bitty little. This is the one. This is definitely cheap attack. I love it. Okay, so cheap attack. Let's mouse over and see. Oh, 22. Oh, yeah, but it's a lot less. 22 is a lot less. Um, it's because I'm so used to the mining's only 5 mana. So let's get down there and attack something. Let's go down there. Do I have any food on me? Yeah. All right. Let's eat this up. Okay. So let's attack something from a distance. See how our mana goes down. Look at this guy. I'm sorry, buddy. You're a goner. I'm sorry. I didn't see the attack. What was it? What was the number? What was the number? Oh, he's running. He's running. Okay, let's take care of this guy. Three. So really, what was the difference between the magic is because the magic is better against magical creatures. Possibly, I think that's what the difference is. That magic is better against magical creatures. So that's what I think we read, whether it was in Compendium. I think I've read that or someone mentioned it. So that's the difference right there, I guess. Because, um, so let's see. Oh. How did I miss that? Whoa! Something's wrong here. That was weird. It was just com some kind of bug there. It wasn't like... I, I Come on, I aimed actually pretty good, which is rare for me. Oh! Don't move! Don't move! There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! I'm having a bad time here. Whoa! Oh my gosh. He doesn't stop moving. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like the worst. Imagine with a bow and arrow how bad I am. Whoa, finally. Okay, one more hit, guy. Stay still. Oh, my gosh. This. Oh, good, good. I got him now. He's a goner. Oh, no, he's gone. <laughs> he's a goner because he's gone. Oh, I'm having one of those days again. 
days like these. My mama said, all right, there we go. It took, <laughs> it took forever. All right, mana use is, though, a lot better. So now let's go ahead and upgrade it to the normal mode, which was C. But I know this always keeps popping up, which is annoying. And now it's saying mana cost is 90. But this gives a six. That's even better than my magic. Whoa, that was nice, actually. I like that one. That was really good. I was re really liking that one. Awesome. That was very, very good, actually. So you know what? Really, for my purposes, basic purposes against mod uh, mobs. I keep saying mods. Why do I do that? Mobs such as, you know, nighttime, zombies, creep or creepers, whatever. And the best is, just like people mentioned in the comments, the, the range on this is out of control. I mean, I could see a, cre a creeper way on the other side of this um, little bit of water here. And it's just, it's amazing um, how good it is. Okay, what I'm going to do is wait till nighttime. Then we'll attack a few of these monsters just to kind of play around with this a little more. Then we'll have one of our mana cakes because I'm hungry and figure, let's see how well that works out. Because I didn't know I could craft. I just happened to see that in the compendium and said, hey, let's craft that. Nobody mentioned it to me or anything. So that's a good way, I guess, of, of you know, getting mana when you're kind of low. Because with the last spell I was using, the magic poof one, it's called my poof spell. <laughs> um, that one took a lot of mana really quickly. Um so, and I didn't see a difference in the attack. It must just be, and please let me know in the comments if you agree, that spell must be mainly against kind of maybe mobs that are m like, m like magical mobs and stuff like that. Maybe it's more effective or something. Let me know if that's what it is. Otherwise, I don't know what the difference is. Um, so let me know. Okay, so I'll be back in a little bit once it's nighttime. Okay, hi everybody, I'm back. It's nighttime, and I don't know why I don't see any mobs, and I waited a while. It didn't just become night. I've been waiting. It's, it's been night already for a while, and I can't... I don't know where the mobs are. I know I'm not on peaceful mode, so I don't know what happened here. Let's see what happened here. I have... Oh, oh, can I get that wisp? The thing is, I'm such a bad shot, but it would be great to get that wisp. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there's some monsters across. Oh, here comes one. Here comes one. There we go. I love it. Now, this is the normal mode. So, we have the higher mode here. We five, four. Nice. Another five. There we go. Brought him down. That was nice. Okay. And, okay, the mana's a little bit down. So, let's just keep using it until we run out of mana. Now, remember, this is the higher tier. Can I hit it? Does it, does it hit that? I, I would like to try. Ooh, thing is, I'm such a bad shot. Nope. Let's hit this guy, because he's coming at me. We don't want to have to deal with him. There we go. Man is going down really quick. But of course, we're using 90 every time, so it's understandable. Oh, one more hit from this guy. I should have changed the mode there. Okay, another guy down. Okay, now how about... We're almost down, so I want to eat those mana cakes. Let's see. One. <laughs> Doesn't know what hit him. He has cool little armor on. What kind of helmet is that, actually? Not really sure. Whoa, one more hit. Wow, look at the distance on this, huh? Isn't this great? Maybe that's a happy wisp that won't attack me. There we go, he's down. I can't attack this wisp. I keep trying just to see. <gasps> oh, an enderman. Oh, you know, now I ran out of mana. Let's eat our mana cake. Let's see how that goes. Oh, I want to get that enderman from a distance. Oh, an aura node right here. Oh, I got to mark this one. I didn't know about this one. Let's eat up our mana cake. Ooh. Mana regen takes time. I see. It's not like an instant thing. Oh, did I eat two? Didn't I have three? Was it my imagination? Not really sure. Ooh. God, I got a level there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 my gosh. I didn't expect him to come out. But of course, now I'm out of mana. Where's my sword? Where's the normal, good old-fashioned Minecraft vanilla, vanilla Minecraft sword? Oof. Oh my gosh, out of mana. Well, it's because I have the higher mode. I need to change it. What I really need is knockback. I think that's important. But knockback was the second, the next tier. I think is green color. So I can't get knockback right now. Um, all right, but we got that Enderman. That was pretty nice, and we got a level. So that was good. So let's go ahead and have another mana cake. And then let's try this. Let's change the mode. Okay. So now we're back on um, reduced, I think it's called. So you go one, right? That was only two. Oh, that one was three. That's pretty good. I think reduced is probably I'm better off because it does move them back. And I'm having mana regen, but still pretty low on mana right now. We've got mana regen first. I got to make a whole bunch of those cakes. 
And let's see, there must be other things. I'm guessing, I'm totally guessing for mana regen, like something else besides the mana cakes. Okay, so that was pretty good. The Enderman was a good attack. I liked it. Um, didn't get an Ender Pearl, did I? Just want to make sure it didn't drop somewhere and I didn't see. Maybe it was in the water. You know, you never know. Wow, tons of stuff over there. But I'm not seeing an Ender Pearl. That's too bad. I would like to get another Ender Pearl. Now, I did see that Magical Crops, we can get Ender Pearls. Um, and I was looking into it, actually, I was just looking at, um, you know, NEI, and I noticed that, you know, you could get diamonds, emeralds, but for me personally, ender pearls is something that I might need, you know, and since they're much harder to get than diamonds, especially now, now that we have mimicry, you know, we've got, um, this easy mining tool, which is our spell, right? Our mining spell, um, mining is a lot easier. So definitely I would use whatever essence I get for, for ender pearl. Like, um, you know, ender pearl, ender pearl plants. That would be cool. So I have to look into that. All right, I don't see any mobs right now. But anyway, we did pretty good right now. I'm pretty happy about this. Oh, there's one. There's one. Let's take care. I can't stand skeletons. I mean, I, I really hate them more than zombies. I prefer, believe it or not. There we go. <laughs> I love this. He doesn't even know what's hitting him. It's so great. Dumb mobs. Silly mobs. Don't know what's what hit them. Come on, one more hit. One more hit. Look, I'm actually well because the crosshairs in the middle. I'm able to, <laughs> I'm able to hit them. Otherwise, I would have no. Oh, oh, he's coming. Wow, it's funny how now you know since the 1.6. I think I don't know if it was 1.5 or 1.6. How far away you are that the mob that zombies can like sense you from such a distance away. It's pretty funny. All right, where is he? Oh, oh, this creeper is weird. This is one of those blue ones. I'm not really sure what they do. I still haven't learned. What kind of creeper? Oh, I think it doesn't do too much damage to you. I read about this blue creeper. I think it's not like, you know, how we doing on mana. Still a little low on mana. But knockback right now would be a great thing to have. But we need to wait. So once again, I have to wait to get some of the green levels. I'm still not sure how to do that. Um, if I have to start killing mobs or summon some kind of boss. or They, they mentioned, someone mentioned, I think it was Burning Steps mentioned the Mage Towers. Um... Ooh, how am I missing this guy? Oh my gosh. That's it. I'm going to be out of mana any second. There we go. Good. And this guy? Mana creeper. Oh no, he's going to take my mana away. Is that what happens? Oh, I'm sure that's what happens if I'm close to him. He's definitely not my friend. A new entry unlocked. So basically every time some kind of attack or I gain a level or I kill a certain type of mob or whatever... It looks like something gets unlocked in the compendium. I didn't realize that before, so I'm learning it the hard way. Oh, remember I saw the aura node? I think it was across here? Oh, gosh, now I lost it. I really should have marked it in that moment, but I was too busy fighting monsters. But it was right around here, I want to say. I'll have to look around again to see where that aura node's. But here in this world, definitely I'm finding a lot more aura nodes than in my Thomcraft world. So I'm hoping, I hope my Thomcraft world is not totally dead. I hope I, oh, no, no, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. That was really unexpected. Unexpected. But that's what the creeper's job is, isn't it? To be unexpected. <laughs> so I can't really complain. All right, I got to get back. Ooh, that was crazy. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a very basic little episode. Oh, we're going to have to trade with this guy. Someone told me that I have to give him stuff, and eventually he'll trade with me. <coughs> no! Oh, no. Run. Now I'm really in trouble. Now I'm really in trouble. Actually, let me get my sword. This is going to be a lot easier with the sword. Where are they? Where are they? Okay, there they are. There they are. Let's run into water so they don't kill any of my poor sheep. And don't destroy any of the beautiful rainforest land. Rainbow forest. Not rainforest. Rainbow forest. Now I wonder if... You know what I want to see? They're not coming, right? I wonder if I attack that elemental. Is that good? Like, can I... Maybe I should use the magic spell for that. What do you guys say? Oh, gosh, this guy. Let me take care of this one first. I wish he wasn't in the water. Then he would be burning. There we go. Almost done. One more. Ooh, yes. Oh, no, no. Well, he's a goner. Yeah. Okay, let's try this from a distance. I think magic would be good against him. Ooh. Oh, it seemed to say... It definitely shoots out better, though, doesn't it? I forgot about that. I haven't used this spell and I forgot that it really shoots out more accurately, I believe. Um, 
than the other spell, than just the plane projectile. Okay, we're getting there. Let's use the regular one. Maybe I'll get a level from hitting him. These water elementals drive me crazy. Oh, out of mana. Let's go back to the... It doesn't matter. Either way, I have out of mana. Poof mobs. Come on, poof mobs. Spell, let's go. Come on, come on. Should just be enough. Yes. There we go. Got some points for that. That was pretty good, actually. So we got that elemental. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Just a little fun episode trying to figure out projectile and what kind of attacks we can have. So next time, maybe we can do um, the fire or lightning or something a little, a little, I don't know if it's better. I don't know if the attack is the same, but it'll be interesting to see if it does do the same kind of damage, like a three, a two, like this one was, like this basic and the basic and the magic spell we have. Um, projectile. So we'll see how that goes in the next episode. Any suggestions, comments, please let me know. I do read them all. And thank oh, creeper. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Remember, please, to leave a like. It really just lets me know that you're enjoying the series and you want me to continue, and it just makes me happy. So I know you guys would love to see me happy. So please, a like would be wonderful if you get a chance. Anyway, guys, thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Let's just shoot. I love it. It looks so cool. <laughs> Are my chickens? Yay, they're fully grown. Beautiful chickens. Where's the other chicken? We lost the chicken. Anyway, guys, thanks so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.